If your child is having anesthesia, one of the top questions for a parent is, how long does it take for my child to wake up after anesthesia? General anesthesia consists of medications administered or a gas or through the intravenous route. If the anesthesia is for a surgery or a procedure that involves pain, it is frequently supplemented by other medications like opiates for pain relief and to reduce formation of memory like midazolam. Once the surgery or the medical procedure is over, the anesthesia providers go through a sequence of events to help the child wake up safely. The wake-up time depends on the reason for which anesthesia is administered. In children, anesthesia is provided for a number of reasons. Although surgery is the most frequent reason to have anesthesia, children also receive anesthesia for many non-surgical medical procedures like MRI, CT scan, nuclear medicine scans, lumbar punctures, and many other procedures. The wake-up time is proportionally more in longer and complex surgeries compared to anesthesia for a shorter surgery or a non-surgical procedure. Typically, when parents see children after anesthesia in a room commonly referred to as the post-anesthesia recovery room, children are usually sleepy or just waking up from anesthesia. The nurses and the anesthesiologist will closely care for the patient in the anesthesia recovery to ensure a smooth transition from anesthesia to an awake child. Many younger children may be crying in the anesthesia recovery room and sometimes it takes time and patience to pacify them. Although not uncommon, this can be difficult to watch as parents and has been termed emergence reaction or emergence delirium. This emergence delirium during wake-up occurs commonly in children aged 2 to 5 years and can last up to 15 minutes or sometimes longer. During this reaction, the child may not recognize or respond to parents. This may need additional treatment with medications. If your child had an emergence delirium in the past and now requires anesthesia, mention this to your anesthesiologist. Anesthesia specialists can vary their technique or provide additional medications or both to ease out the wake-up. In spite of best efforts, few children do end up having a rough wake-up after anesthesia. Other common side effects of general anesthesia include nausea, vomiting, itchiness, and pain, which can all show up during wake-up. Watch our video on nausea after anesthesia by clicking the link above. If any side effects, anesthesiologists can administer additional medications to treat them. It typically might take up to an hour for the child to be awake. Children can be much sleepier even after on the day of anesthesia and may drift back to sleep on and off. Studies have shown that there can be some disruption of sleep for up to a few nights after anesthesia, especially after major prolonged surgeries. There are many factors that are associated with the occurrence of post-anesthesia sleep disturbance. Children may require assistance with feeding, drinking, and using the bathroom on the day of anesthesia. Children get discharged after anesthesia or hospital stay after being checked by the team. In general, children may resume normal feeds when feeling well and normal activities when the child is comfortable with. Before leaving the hospital, talk to your anesthesiologist or surgeon about what to expect after surgery and anesthesia and the things you can do to keep your child comfortable. I hope you found value with the video. Do like and share. Make sure you smash the subscribe button and follow us for additional videos on anesthesia in children like this, child health and wellness. Take care and have a great day.